Okay, I had some questions about high ambient return and what suction pressures and superheats and subcools should be. And I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Uh, first thing I'm going to note is uh, the bathermometer. The bathermometer says we're at about 92. That's room ambient. But the actual return ends up being about 86. So let's use 86. And uh, we'll take a look at how this thing works. And that's a pretty high return air temperature. Okay, with our uh, condensing temperature at 111 and figuring uh, 86 for the outdoor temperature, we got 25 degrees, which is about what this thing usually runs. So, superheat and subcool are actually pretty good. Uh, not especially high, uh, as you might expect them to be. Uh, some folks have said they, they would expect something like about an 85 suction. Uh, well, this thing's got plenty of air. Uh, I have not checked CFM in this thing lately, but it's got gobs. And uh, I think we're in excess of probably 1100 CFM on this thing. Last time I checked, I think that's about what it was. And it's a two ton machine, so it really only requires eight. Uh, so, uh, 75, you know, it's, uh, I don't think you're gonna get a lot higher than that. These machines oftentimes just won't do that. They just kind of max out. Now, uh, you could say, well, maybe we got a little too much, uh, or a little too low a charge, because uh, we do have 11.2 Super E, but I want to show you something. Okay, let's take a look at this compressor. Now you can see this thing has condensate everywhere. This is ice cold here. In fact, uh, it's maybe a little excessive. Uh, this thing is really ice cold. It's very cold right here. You can see the condensate here going up across the top. Uh, so uh, this thing is, if anything, I'd say you've got too little super heat. So, uh, one of those things that service techs probably never will figure out is why one unit will act a certain way and another one will act a little different. This one, it looks like you couldn't overdraw it regardless of what you did. Uh, I have not been able to bring uh, like a hundred degree return air on these things, but uh, if I get a chance, I'll try that. But it doesn't look like this thing's ever going to go higher than about 75 in that suction. Okay, this is our uh, duct supply duct temperature, and we're running at uh, say 69. Okay, you can see your super eats 11.4, your sub cools 3.4. Well, uh, probably that super heat is a little bit too low. Should probably be higher than that. When you do target uh, super heat, we'll probably find that's a little bit off. Okay, for the this test, I purposely overcharged this unit. You saw that by the sweat on the uh, compressor just to see if we could uh, get a higher suction pressure. Doesn't look like we can get much higher than that. I think we're actually fairly uh, far overcharged now. So uh, 
that's the air conditioner with a high amb ambient return and how it generally rea reacts. Uh, different air conditioners will do different, but that's the way this one reacts, and I'll try it with others too uh, in other videos.